Want to create custom models for Voxel Tycoon, but not sure where to get started? Now you can with Wings 3D, a more beginner-friendly polygon modeler than Blender. First off, install the Wings 3D client that fits your system. Then download the Voxel Tycoon SDK client. Lastly, download the coupling plus bar.3ds and Voxel Tycoon ColorSquare.png. Start Wings 3D. Some basics. Use middle click and move the mouse to rotate the camera. Left click to stop. Arrow keys pan the view. Roll in and out to zoom. Z, X, and Y will show the model along that axis. Control Z will undo the last action, while Control plus Alt Z will continually undo. We will be creating a box car with a stripe like this one. Alright, so to start, we'd go ahead and create the container and the roof. So we're going to right click in the middle of the screen, and we're going to click on the gear. And we're going to create a cube that is x.8, y1, and z2.8. And we're going to put that on the ground so that it's not under the ground. And we're going to switch to body selection mode. Select the cube, right click, absolute commands, move. And we're going to move it to 0.95 on the Y, so that we'll have space for the wheels. And then we're going to switch to face selection mode, press space to deselect all the faces. Select the top face, right click, and then we'll do plane cut on the X. Right click on the top face to make that cut. And that edge is now selected. We're going to right click <clears throat> on that edge. Absolute commands move and move it to 1.55. That will give us a slight roof to our container. So, moving on, we're going to go ahead and create another box here for the stripe. So, we're going to right click. I'm going to do the gear menu on the cube, and we're going to create a box with x2, y.3, and z3.5, and we're going to put it on the ground. And we're going to switch into face selection mode, select this front face, absolute, move, and we're going to move it to 1, space, and we're going to go here, back here. Absolute move. And we're going to do 0.75. Okay. Now we are going to select this top face and right click and do plane cut on the Z. And right click on that face again and it'll cut it. And then we're going to right click on this line that was created absolute move and that for that y we're going to do 0.8 say okay space and that is the basis of our stripe that we will be creating moving on we are going to align the stripe to the container so we are going to select one of the sides and we are going to right click absolute and this is very important here you need to middle click on the snap and then you need to select the side of the box car and right click to execute. It's very important that you middle click on that snap or it will not work. Press space, go around to the other side, same thing, absolute, snap. See, even I didn't do it right. Absolute, middle click snap, select, right click, now the front, select, absolute, middle click snap, select, right click, and again, select, right click, absolute, middle click snap, select, right click. So now our stripe is aligned with the rest of the boxcar.
And we are just gonna select this back stripe edge. And we're gonna do absolute move. And we're gonna do 0.9, just so that it's a little bit different from the front. Not too much, just a little bit. Okay. And the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna select all the stripe parts. And we're gonna right click, absolute, scale. And on this X and Y, we're just gonna add ones to the end. And that will make it so that those faces are not coplanar with the rest of the container, which will cause graphical issues. Okay, so next we're going to import the couplings. So we're gonna go into File, Import, 3D Studio. Should be okay. And get the coupling plus bar 3ds. And it is already aligned to import at the correct location. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and unwrap this for our UBW map. So we're going to go ahead and switch to body selection. Select everything, right click, and combine. Make sure that everything is one thing. Now we're going to switch to face selection. Select everything, right click, UV mapping. Again, select everything. Right click, segment by projection, right click, continue, unfolding. And this will give us our UBW map that we will be working with. Now we're going to go to Window, Outliner, and we're going to right click in this menu and Image. And we're going to import our Voxel Tycoon color square. Say OK. OK. Now we are going to right click in the UV editor and do create texture. And we're, first thing we're going to do is we're going to set draw edges to none. Go into the options of the background, set it to image, and set it to the color square. Say OK. OK. Now you can see that our texture is applied to our model, but you can also see that it is not in the correct locations. So we're going to fix that now. So we're going to, these faces should all be selected. If they're not, go ahead and select them. Once they are selected, right click. I'm going to do scale, max uniform. Then we'll right click again and do scale, uniform, and scale them all to about the size of a quarter of a block. Smaller, it doesn't really matter. A quarter of a block will work. Now we're gonna do we're going to right click, move, free, move them all into one square. For now, press space, select this bottom coupling, and free, like that. Okay. Now, you're going to press X to see the model from the X axis. And we're going to switch to orthogonal. So we're seeing it straight on instead of at a perspective view. Go ahead and drag select and select all these faces. And then we're going to right click, move, free, move those into their own block. And then go ahead and using face selection, select each 
section of the stripe and go ahead and move free into its own block. Now you can see that the model has its correct texture, but it might not be the correct color that you want. And so we'll go ahead and import it into the Voxel Tycoon SDK and we'll fix it there. Okay, let's see here. One last thing, which is very important, you should always remember to do a very highly affect the way your model looks in game. You need to go to edge selection mode, select all of the edges, right click, go to hardness, and set the hardness to hard. Otherwise the texture won't display correctly in the game. Finally we're going to go ahead and export this. So we're going to go to file, export, obj, <clears throat> Make sure that your export looks exactly like this. Don't think that texture type, file type matters. Definitely need triangulation. One group per material will make your file not import correctly. Swapping Y and X is not gonna be good. And you definitely need UV coordinates. So say okay. And we will call this first car let's say okay okay now you'll notice that you have two files you have a my first car dot obj maybe my first car dot mtl go ahead and delete that it will never be used and go ahead and move this into your trains folder in the SDK And start the SDK. Okay, here it is. It's one of the files I've created. It is a intermodal car with the Voxel Tycoon logo on it. Alright, so let's go into the trains drop down and the model will be in here first car there it is so in order to set the colors you just need to simply click on the part of the model you want to change change its color and change this to kind of a gray and change this to maybe brighter yellow and orange let's do orange and there you go from wings 3d to inside the voxel tycoon engine not that hard of a process and i hope you have fun creating what you see fit